Also tonight, more signs that California is coming back from the coronavirus pandemic. For the first time in over a year and a half, baseball fans are welcomed back to Sutter Health Park today. While thousands more people get a shot of hope in struggling San Joaquin County. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Curtis Bang. The governor says California could fully reopen in June, but some businesses are struggling to figure out what that looks like. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Sacramento with the summer uncertainties. Marissa? Hey, Curtis, yeah, private event spaces and venues like Wedgwood here in Sacramento were the first to close, and they will be the last ones to reopen. Now, brides and grooms trying to plan a big summer wedding are doing so without any guidelines. We picked a song a long time ago and just, you know, going through with that and just having that moment. Jennifer Solis and Stephen Barona can't wait for their first dance. But planning a wedding in a pandemic is no easy task. Their first 2020 date canceled. It was just devastating. Um, we had to get a few cries out. But now they have the green light. They can have their dream wedding with restrictions. As far as like mask, it's up to us, but for sure we wanted to make sure that we had mask and then we naturally cut the capacity just because we want everybody to feel safe. Capacity limits for events were announced Friday, but come June, those will go away. The state dropping tier restrictions, but in an industry employing 3 million people across California, there's still no guidance from the state on what summer events will look like. We need to know what do we need to purchase? How do we need to prepare? Will dancing be allowed? Will cocktail hours be allowed? Can buffets happen? Amy Olkatekin, president of the California Association for Private Events, is helping the state create guidelines for her industry. But those guidelines are waiting on modification and approval from state leaders like Cal OSHA. But what she does know is it won't be a free for all for events come June 15th. There will likely be restrictions and required safety practices in place. We don't know what that's going to look like once we hit the green. And where you live will likely impact what your event looks like and whether you'll be able to hit the dance floor. The state will set those guidelines and the county can have more restrictions than the state, but not less. And of course, whatever venue you pick, they can also choose to have more restrictions, but not less. But once again, the state will have to approve all of those guidelines before.